Uh, my name is Susie Doring. I was born in El Paso, Texas, and I live in Israel, Jerusalem. Or Jerusalem, not Israel. Jerusalem. Are we being PC? <laughs> I lived with Suki's family after he passed away and after my father passed away. And uh, it was interesting to witness people's grief because half of the people will turn God away completely and just say, you know, you did this to me, therefore I won't have a relationship with you, you know. Um, and that happened in the household. And in some of us, you know, needed, needed more faith and understanding of God to get through the painful time. So after Tsuki died, I think grief does something to you. It opens some part of your brain and it does something. Um, it says Aviva Zornberg. Is that her name? Professor? Yeah. Um, she said once in a lecture, which I like went to all of her lectures that year. And she said, the feelings of grief is the closest thing to God, you know, because like your, your soul is ripped open. You're, you're not who you are anymore. Your whole concept of life around you and what is normal is completely like inside out. And you're so vulnerable to everything. And you're so sensitive to things. Like, you could, like when you're in severe grief, you can really like feel what people are feeling and how they look at you and the meaning behind their eyes and what they're you know, thinking. And, and I felt because of that grief, I felt really close to God. I could sit on the beach and I could actually, I, I literally, and I don't know if I was looking for it or if it was natural, but it's the way I felt. Like I, anytime like a leaf blew across the street, I would feel it and watch it. And you would just sit there because I guess you feel like you're so dead inside. You notice all of the life around you, like any rustle or the sky and the people walking around. And you're just like, you're feeling like you're watching this movie in slow-mo. So for me, because like I was in the worst state that I could, I never even knew like the human, you know, body or emotions could sink that low. I felt, you know, like that I was in God's hands. And there was a time where I was purely in God's hands, you know, because I, I, I just didn't like, I had no faith in myself. You know, my, my soul was gone. So 